Hi friends, it's Monica and today I'm going to be sharing my first bi-monthly TBR. So my plan for my TBR list or to be read lists are to do them every two months since I was still recovering from a bad reading slump this past year. So I think doing them every two months gives me a little bit of a breathing room so I can either read a book for my TBR list or whatever I'm in the mood to read that day. So I did make a little something with my mug here. I have some slips of paper in there. It's not that fancy. It's just a mug with some contemporary or romance books that I've been wanting to read or have not read because they're sitting on my shelf for a long time. So this is my attempt to try to read more books that I own. Pick my first book out of this mug and the first book on my TBR is going to be An Abundance of Catherines. So I grabbed um, An Abundance of Catherines by John Green off the shelf. This one's about Colin who's been in 19 relationships with only girls named Catherine. He is then on a road trip with his best friend and they are trying to prove the theorem of underlying Catherine predictability and that which he hopes that will predict the future of any relationship and avoid being dumped again and to win any girl. <laughs> so this one seems a little bit pretty much the formula of old John Green books. It has won an award before as seen on the cover so Maybe that will work out in its favor. So let's continue on with my fantasy picks for this TBR. The next book I'm going to be talking about is Charting Stars by Micheline Reichman. So this one is a YA fantasy. This follows Talia Benson's an ordinary teenage girl who has nothing really going on for her and she likes it that way. She's happy with her life currently with her single mother, her three cats, and relaxing with art, coffee, and looking at the stars until one evening or one day Talia magically wakes up in a fantastical world and that is the nine realms and in this magical world we have strange guardians who decide the fate of all creatures who live there but something is changing in their world and a prophecy that is being foretold is saying darkness is approaching and that maybe Talia is the key to saving them all so charting stars is the first book in a new series and I'm really hoping it'll be wholesome and showing how an ordinary girl can also turn out to be extraordinary. I actually did recently finish this one and I can confirm it was very wholesome and a very charming fantasy book. So the next book I want to read is This Woven Kingdom by Tahira Mafi. It's not yet released, it's releasing February 1st. This book is the start of a new romantic fantasy trilogy and it's inspired by Persian mythology. So in this book, there's elements of clashing empires, forbidden romance, and a long lost queen destined to save her people. The main character in this book is Eliza and she's only a servant in this kingdom but in truth she's the long lost heir to an ancient jinn kingdom and she's forced to hide in plain sight. We are also following the crown prince Cameron who has heard prophecies predicting the death of his king. Cameron is also surprised to find that there is a servant girl with strange eyes and also a girl that he can't keep out of his mind is probably the key to saving not only his king and his kingdom. I love the original Shadow Me trilogy. I have not read the other three books in that series, but I really like Tahira Mafi's writing and I cannot wait to get to this one. So the next book I wanna read is part of a series and it's the last book in that series. And it is The Storm of Echoes by Christelle Dabot. Since I don't want to spoil too much about this last book, I will be describing the first book, A Winter's Promise. And just to start off, a little disclaimer, this series is originally written in French, but has been translated into English. And the translation is pretty well done in my opinion. In book one, we learn about the cataclysmic event called the rupture that has broken up the earth into pieces giant floating pieces in the sky now called arc. So each arc has their own unique family running it and they all have their own unique magical ability. So our main character Felia is known as a reader and a reader is someone who has the magical ability to read the history of objects. So for example if there is an ancient history book she can know who has read and touched and flipped the pages of that book and read the history of 
whatever that object has been through. Ophelia is quite talented at being a reader and she also has a special ability to travel through mirrors. She's not our typical main character you would see in a YA fantasy because she's awkward, she's clumsy, uh, she has thick glasses and she has a magical scarf that likes to protect her. This makes for an interesting combination when she is placed in an arranged marriage with a man named Thorn and Thorn lives on one of the harshest arcs, Pole. And once Ophelia is brought to Pole by her fiancé, she discovers that there's a lot more to this vicious new arc. What makes this series unique is that it's mainly character driven and there are really unique magical abilities that you learn throughout the different arcs. And with Storm of Echoes, I'm really interested in how everything is wrapped up. So my next fantasy book is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. So this one is a magical realism fantasy, which is not a genre that I pick up often. So I did pick up this one because I was interested in what all the hype was about since it's quite popular at the moment. So this book takes place in a library between life and death. And within this library, the shelves are never ending. And each book is another chance to try another life you could have lived. Each book essentially answers the questions of what if. What if you made a different choice? What if you chose a different career? What if you chose to marry someone else? And how you, your life would have been like? The question now is, would you choose the life that could have been? Or continue to live in your current reality. So our main character Nora Seed is now facing this decision and choice if she should continue living her current life or go back into a book in her personal midnight library and follow her dream career as a glaciologist. Okay I'm kind of curious about what a glaciologist is and I didn't look it up. So it's the study of snow and ice and about past climates. So I think it's quite fitting to the story itself. So Nora does choose to go explore the other life through this library and then she must decide what is ultimately fulfilling in life and what truly makes it worth living in the first place. And of course I was attracted to this book not only by its hype and popularity but because it's talking about a library and a magical library at that. And I do think this one will be quite hard hitting to my emotions. So next, I do want to read more non-fiction books this year. So I chose Broken in the Best Way Possible by Jenny Lawson. So if you don't know who Jenny Lawson is, she's an American journalist and blogger. And within this memoir of her, she shares her um, experiences about depression. And she also speaks more about her mental health journey as well as her physical health journey. So I was interested in reading the story about her experience with depression slash anxiety and how she recovers from the lows in her life. I haven't read any of her previous memoirs before but I'm quite excited to see her own take on these serious topics. And lastly for the first two months of the year I do want to read a personal development book and for this first TBR I chose Atomic Habits by James Clear. So Atomic Habits is a book that I did start last year and the first few chapters I read, I did enjoy it, but I never finished it. <laughs> and I do think it will have some good advice in how I can change my life a bit and improve in establishing more consistent habits. This one is a super popular self-help book and it's basically about improving your habits with reforming the system of your thoughts behaviors and then actions and I actually hope to change some of my habits or kind of learn from this book how to establish a new habit and apply that to other areas of my life as well. And next week I will be discussing more of my own personal goals for the year and I think this will help me in getting my goals into action. So thanks so much for watching my first CBR of 2022. Comment down below what is one of your first picks of the year. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell to not miss any future uploads. I'll see you all soon.